Hey y'all, what's up? This your girl, Comedic Medium Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Hello. If you're new, I am a pathetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. I read cards based off what spirit tells me. The holy angels and the divine. Also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. And I'm going to do a reading for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, whatever's going on in Carmenville. This is just going to be a quick message. I'm probably going to do two. So I hope you guys enjoyed your, um, what the hell is today? Monday. I hope you enjoyed your Monday. Again, some of you were probably preparing for Thanksgiving or whatever. So if you don't see me after today, I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. But, um... I just wanted to do a late night read or whatever. Um, hold on real quick. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm good. Let's see what's going on. What the hell is going on for the collective tonight on this beautiful um, damn side of my hair not laying down the way I want it to. I just got out of the shower, you guys, so. I just brushed my hair up in a ponytail. I'm finna take it down though because I don't like the way the side of my hair look. But anyways, I hope everybody is doing well. What is this? Six of Cups. That just flew out like right off the back. Hmm. We need to go ahead and pray though, okay? Somebody stole something from you. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, somebody could have stole, ran off with your money. I'm hearing this song by Plies. Ran off on the plug twice. I hear him calling. I ain't calling back. I don't know the words. The rapper Plies could be significant. I don't know the words. Why am I hearing it? Ran off on the plug twice. I'm hearing... Why am I hearing Plies songs? I'm hearing, I know you caught me cheating and you're tired of me lying. I'm going to be honest with you, baby. I know I crossed the line. You don't want to fuck with me no more? Then cool, it's fine. But before I go, baby, can we fuck one more time? This is your ex, male or female, ten of cups. You could have had a family with this person. This bitch or this nigga is trifling. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody is a real motherfucking trifling. Somebody stole some money from you. This could be an ex of yours, male or female. Yeah, look, Spirit said this is the truth. Ace of Swords here. I told you, look, Seven of Swords here. Look, I told you, Ace of Pentacles here. Oh, wow. Your ex tried to sacrifice you for an Ace of Pentacles? Wow. Hold on. Let, let me move this. camera is not positioned the way that I want it to. Okay, let me try to bake this up some. All right, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, back to the read. I'm trying to talk real low, you guys, because my babies are sleeping. But anyways, I'm hearing a song by Plies. I know you called me cheating, so your ex could have cheated on you, male or female. But I feel like that's besides the point. That's irrelevant. Somebody fucking stole something from you. I've been picking up on a storyline. This storyline has been coming out in my readings. Somebody's ex or something like that stole your identity. Your ex could have stayed with you or you could have stayed with this person. If you're the karmic person that did this shit. But I don't know if this is you. Or this is your ex. This might not even been your ex. This could be a family member with the Ten of Cups. Somebody stole somebody's identity. But it gotta be an ex or something like that though. Because I'm hearing plies. I know you caught me cheating. I know you tired of me lying. So it's like your ex could have cheated on you, right? 
if this is not an ex, somebody could have cheated you out of your out of your money. That's what I'm hearing. Like, wow, this is crazy. You could have literally, I'm hearing don't bite the hand that feeds you. Okay, I'm hearing a family that prays together. Like your ex could have teamed up with your family to go against you. Angel number 515 on the clock. Or your family member that stayed with you, they could have teamed up against you with the rest of your family members. But I just keep hearing stolen identity. Like somebody could have literally stole a vital document of yours. I'm hearing your social security card, your birth certificate, and they've been getting shit in your name and they're going to jail for this. Damn, your ex or your family member, they did a lot of fucked up shit to you. Somebody is trifling. I'm hearing you a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, a heartbreaker, and I don't want you back. And my, Yeah, somebody ain't shit. Somebody is fucking trifling, bro. Like, I'm hearing three things. Your ex cheated on you or your family member cheated, cheated you out of something. I'm hearing your money, your time, your energy. You were kind enough to let this person stay with you. I'm hearing don't burn bridges. Why would the fuck? Why the fuck would you burn the? I mean, yeah. Why would you burn a bridge? Why would you bite the hand that feeds you? I feel like whoever this family member is or this ex is, they need somewhere to stay. They're currently homeless, but they burnt the bridge on you. They burnt the bridge. I'm hearing the, this person has burnt the bridge with everybody. Nobody wants to see this person come in, family member or ex. This could even be a friend. Uh, this could be an ex, a friend, or a family member. Nobody wants to see this person come in. Somebody don't got nowhere to go. Somebody don't got nowhere to stay, but they didn't fucked everybody over. And I'm hearing you could have been this person's main supply, and they fucked you over. This is crazy as fuck. I'm hearing somebody cheated on you or cheated, up, cheated you out of something. Not only did they do that, they tried to sacrifice you for an ace of pentacles. This could be some type of inheritance. I'm hearing something about hereditary. I'm hearing something about genes. Somebody could have some type of psychological issues that's hereditary. This is why they fucked you over. Yeah, with the seven of cups, somebody could be a narcissist. Okay, you can come from a narcissistic family or your ex could come from a narcissistic family or your whole entire family is full of witches and warlocks and demons and narcs. You're the only empath i'm hearing it's like you could have been in a relationship with a narc and you're the empath or you could have been in a family full of narcs and you're the empath it's like your whole family fucked you over your whole family could have worked with an ex or something like that i don't know but i feel like that energy is irrelevant i feel like somebody wow somebody's gonna die bro your ex could have tried to blood sacrifice you they could have worked with your family to try to get some type of ace of pentacles here. This money belongs to you. So it's like your ex cheated on you. They tried to sacrifice you for your ace of pentacles, your inheritance. They could have worked with a copycat. They could have worked with a third party. Not only did they do that, somebody stole your identity too. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? And it's like you're somewhere happy. And now somebody needs you. You're in this Queen of Swords energy or King of Swords energy. The Empress. Yeah, you're the Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. You could be a double Libra. You could be a Leo. You could be a Scorpio. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Yeah, somebody's ex or this is a family member or a friend. They definitely teamed up against you. All of these people going up against one person. Somebody could have tried to sabotage your work. Somebody didn't want you to work. Or somebody don't want you working or this is crazy as fuck see i don't be wanting these readings to be that long look ace of cups somebody stole your identity and they thought they was gonna put you in jail you're the whole empress out here you're the whole you're you're the, you're the emperor or the empress you know we don't read gender in tarot but somebody really motherfucking thought they was gonna steal your identity and you was gonna go to jail for this shit or you were gonna get locked up you were gonna get arrested I feel like if your if your family member or your entire family or your ex, if this is not your family, this could be your ex and their family. These people tried to put the empress in jail. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I feel like if somebody wanted you in jail, if somebody wanted you dead, this is now happening to them. I'm picking up on the Grim Reaper. Your ex finna pass away or one of these family members. Somebody a part of your narcissistic family or somebody, damn, if your ex doesn't pass away, somebody in their family gonna pass away. This could be somebody's mother, 
Somebody's mother could be on their deathbed. Why am I picking up on mother-in-laws and father-in-laws and shit? I don't know. <laughs> Look, a knight of coins here. Somebody's ex or somebody's family member. I'm hearing they burnt the bridge. And you're somewhere, la, 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 minding your business with the sun card and the fool card. Yeah, somebody is down on their knees. They down on their luck. They're having to lay in the bed that they made because they teamed up and worked against you with their family or your family. They teamed up and worked against you with a third party. Now they're carrying burdens. Yeah, somebody intentionally tried to break your heart. Somebody intentionally tried to hurt you. Somebody may end up dying from a drug overdose. I'm hearing cocaine. Somebody could be on crack cocaine. People still smoke crack. <laughs> People still fucking smoke crack, bruh. I don't know. Or somebody could be on meth. Like, it's like when you separated from this ex that you let some, you let this person stay with you, by the way. Or you stayed with this person. Just take what side you on. When you separated from this friend, this family member, this ex, they got on heavy drugs. Or you could have let your friend or your cousin or your family member stay with you. Angel number 1109, angel number 1111, you could have let your friend stay with you and they started sleeping with your ex. Your friend and your ex has been sleeping with each other for a long time. I'm hearing these two people could have caught some type of incurable STD. Somebody is mad because you don't got this shit. This reading is starting to get too long. I'm not trying to do no long readings. I'm only doing mini readings. I know I'm finna take my hair down though. Yeah, magician card here, Capricorn energy. Yeah, all I got to say is, is whoever your ex is, I'm hearing your friend could have worked with your ex, your, your family could have worked with your ex, or this could be a family member that worked with your friend. It's just a whole bunch of fucking people here that worked in cahoots, that went against one person, seven of wands here, and now these people are heartbroken for trying to cause you to be heartbroken. The Grim Reaper is going to collect these hoes and niggas. I don't know why I'm hearing plies, though. I know you caught me cheating and you tied me to line. Somebody could have been getting readings on you as well. I'm going to be honest with you, baby. I know I could your ex. Somebody cheated on you. Yeah, and they tried to sacrifice you for an ace of pentacles. Look, the ace of pentacles is coming out twice, bro. <laughs> the ace of pentacles, bro. This is like fucking sad. The ace of pentacles, ace of cups. Now somebody is worried. Look, I told you, this definitely has to be an ex-lover. Or somebody that claimed that they loved you. Somebody that claimed that they cared about you. They're, they're getting readings on you as well. These readings are not accurate. Somebody could have went to a practitioner. A voodoo priest. Yeah, somebody is under heavy judgment. All of these fucking people that worked in cahoots to sacrifice you. Devil card in the reverse. Judgment. Three of pentacles to sacrifice you with the death card for your abundance. For your inheritance. For your destiny. Your ex could have tried to destiny swap with you. Your family member tried to destiny swap with you. Your ex friend tried to destiny swap with you. This is some sad ass shit, bro. This is a look. Lover's card. I told you. Same cards coming out. <laughs> bro, sun card. Look, same cards coming out. You're somewhere happy. You're somewhere resting and rejuvenating. I keep hearing, don't bite the hand that feeds you. It's like, if this is a family member, they need somewhere to stay. They need your help. They broke too. They need some money. If this is an ex, they need somewhere to stay. They need some money. If this is a family member, friend, whatever, they burnt this bridge. I'm hearing somebody has burnt bridges with everybody. Somebody could actually be homeless. Somebody could actually be outside in the cold. Funny I wrote that in the community tab. Ace of staff. Somebody has an incurable STD though, as well. Somebody could be having sex for money. Somebody could be a female or a male prostitute. It's like, damn, when you separated from this, you let this person stay with you, by the way. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing Keisha Cole. If he ain't gonna love you. The way you should, then let him go if he ain't gonna. I just seen the will of, yeah, look, the will of fortune. This could have been a karmic partner, a karmic soulmate, or a karmic family member. I feel like you was forced to walk away. You was forced to let this go. The most high God could have stepped in because this person was working against you. This person teamed up against you to get you arrested, to get you thrown in jail. Not only that, they've been trying to blood sacrifice you, but it hasn't worked. With the devil card in the reverse. Now the devil finna collect this person or these people. 
and they're going to be the one blood sacrificed and you're going to be able to walk off into your destiny with the ace of pentacles here coming out twice <laughs> now somebody is worried you could have had children with this person okay or did or your family could have been attacking you since since you was a child now they're stuck just watching you from a distance look the page of cups coming out again somebody is just stuck watching you from a distance you could be in the public eye I don't fucking know. Yeah, yo ex, this king of cups, this narc, or this, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck this is. This psycho. Somebody is a demon seed. Somebody tried to blood sacrifice you. And somebody's mother could be sick. Somebody's mother could be on their deathbed. Whoever your ex is, or, or this is your friend, whoever this is, bro. It's just too many people involved in something. And I'm hearing all these people are under judgment. They're all facing jail time. And the Grim Reaper is here again. Death card coming out again. The Grim Reaper, somebody finna die in this energy. That's why Spirit won't let me go. Somebody finna die in this energy. Page of Swords. Something is gonna make the news too. Something is gonna go viral. These people are going to jail. Like, bro, your friend, you let this person stay with you. This is a trifling ass bitch or a trifling ass nigga. Yo, ex, you let this person stay with you. I'm hearing all of these people. If your friend teamed up with your family, if your friend teamed up with your ex, if your if your family teamed up with your ex's family, if your family teamed up with your friend family, I don't know. Whoever been working in cahoots, the Grim Reaper is here. The, the, the devil finna collect these hoes and niggas in the physical. But I'm hearing, I wouldn't be surprised if the justice card didn't come out. Yeah, it's gonna be a t look, your family or this person's family. Yeah, these people are juggling. I'm telling you, bro, somebody, you, br <laughs> bro, this is crazy as fuck. It's gonna be a tower. I'm hearing a tower is, I'm hearing, um, somebody could be on the down low as well, or somebody could just be a prostitute. Somebody is definitely having sex for money. It's like when you walked away from this friend, they didn't even have to do this to you. I'm hearing you're a king of cups. You're a queen of cups. This person didn't have to do this to you. They did this shit to you because they wanted to. Because they evil as fuck. They're a narc. I feel like you were really genuine. You let this friend live with you. You let your family live with you. You let your ex live with you rent free. I feel like somebody didn't have to. I feel like somebody don't want to work. Yeah, somebody don't want to work. Somebody don't want to pay bills. Yeah, will of fortune. Somebody is going through so much karma. Somebody is under heavy judgment. Somebody don't want to work. I told you, look, <laughs> eight of pentacles, some coming out again. Look, the eight of pentacles is coming out twice. Somebody don't want to work. Somebody want to live on people. Somebody want to live on people rent free. Somebody is like a man child or a woman child. Somebody doesn't want to grow up. Yeah, somebody is, all, I feel like don't nobody want this person living with them. Yeah, this fake-ass king of wands, it's not even supposed to be in the deck. Don't nobody want this man or this woman living with them because they have an incurable STD. Somebody has something that they can't get rid of, or they're a drug addict. Somebody could even be a drug addict as well. I feel like this is the type of person that will wait till you go to sleep and steal money out of your wallet, steal money out of your purse. Somebody need to go to rehab as well. Like, I don't know. If this friend or this family member or this ex reach out to you, don't answer. Somebody may be planning to kill you. Like somebody may want to come. Somebody could be stalking you. Somebody could be following you because they want to kill you because they burnt a bridge. Like somebody is thinking about going on a killing spree or somebody could be thinking about killing themselves. What the fuck is this, bro? Seven of cups here. Somebody is going through a lot of karma. All of these people. What is this? See, that's why I don't be wanting to do readings. See, it's like, I don't be trying. Well, I want to do readings, but they be too long sometimes. It's late. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not going to be on here all night. I wanted to get a couple of readings out. Four of Cups. This could have been somebody that rejected you. Ace of Cups. It's like, this is evil. So that's what this is. That's why Spirit won't let me go. It's like, when you walked away from your friend, when you kicked this bitch or this nigga out your home, or they could have just left your home themselves. I'm definitely seeing somebody could have caught their ex in the bed with a man I'm hearing or a woman another woman or somebody could have caught their ex in the bed with their cousin with their friend or something like that I don't I don't fucking know this is weird I'm getting a download I'm literally seeing somebody get somebody got caught in the bed I don't know what the fuck is this Spear, what is this 
I'm hearing Runaway Love. I'm hearing Mary J. Blige. I mean, yeah, and Ludacris. Cherry card. Who are, who are these people? What is this? Spirit is starting to show me entirely too much. Like, I'm hearing somebody has burnt a lot of bridges. Nobody wants to see this man or this woman coming because they're gay. They're on the down low or they're a drug addict. Somebody is having sex for money. I don't know. Somebody is a prostitute. I don't know. Somebody stinks. Somebody don't take baths. Somebody don't want to work. Somebody is a thief. Somebody is a liar. Somebody spread illusions and, and lies. And I feel like I'm hearing this is hereditary. This is some type of generational curse. I feel like your whole family is like this. Or your ex's family is like this. Or your whole, your friend, your friend's whole family is like this. I just keep hearing that you really tried to help somebody. And it's like when you separated from this person. They tried to sacrifice you and they stole your identity too. Somebody got a lot of shit in your name. Somebody thought that they were going to blood sacrifice you and become a king of pentacles, a queen of pentacles. But instead, all of this shit is coming to you. It's already happening for you. Nine of pentacles. You're in the nine of pentacles. Self-sufficient, abundant. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Judgment card here. These people are under judgment. I don't know. Expect a phone call. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody finna die. You're gonna get a phone call. Somebody may end up being a widow or something like that. Or you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have to identify a body. That's what I'm hearing. You're about to get a phone call about a lot of deaths. I'm hearing they die in threes. The death card only came out twice, but I'm hearing they die in threes. These people are under heavy judgment for what the fuck they did to you. I'm hearing different scenarios. Your ex teamed up with their family to blood sacrifice you, steal your identity, and they cheated on you. Or your friend teamed up with your ex and their family. Or your family teamed up with other family members. Whatever this is, but one of these people or whatever this is, you let stay with you. And they betrayed you. Or you could have stayed with one of these people. And they they spread rumors and lies about you. Like you could have stayed with somebody and they could have said that you wasn't clean. You didn't take baths. You didn't have good hygiene. Um, you could have stayed with somebody and you and you helped pay their bills. And they could have said that you didn't pay them nothing. I don't know. I'm just picking up on a lot of lies and illusions. And I feel like these people did this for your money or something like that. Some type of money that you never received. Keep standing in your power because, yeah, this is a lot of manipulation all over jealousy and envy over one person but i feel like yeah queen of swords coming out again these people have burnt their bridge they all these people they burnt their bridge it's like all these people need your help they all need your energy or something two of cups they're all suffering in silence behind the scenes because they couldn't sacrifice you they're dealing with a bunch of chaos and drama yeah it's like yeah now the queen of cups is coming out Somebody's mother is definitely here. I'm telling you, these people are going to jail for stealing some type of lump sum of money from you. This is a lot. Yeah, higher fit. You're chosen. You're being protected by the most high God. I'm telling you, look, Hermit Car, these people are suffering in silence and you're still moving forward. And you're still happy. King of Swords here. Somebody could be a Libra, heavy leaf. Somebody could have heavy air sign or fire sign in their chart. Somebody could be an earth sign as well. I've been picking up on earth sign, fire sign, air sign. Three of cups here. Yeah, somebody could have definitely put you in a third party. This could be a father figure that you let stay, let stay with you. Or this could be a baby father, an ex-husband, an ex-wife, an ex-girlfriend, anything. I don't know. I just keep hearing. I just keep hearing they burnt the bridge. They burnt, they burnt the major bridge, whoever this is or whatever this is. Now somebody really needs your help. I feel like somebody really, really needs your help. I feel like you was the only person that loved your cousin, loved your sister, loved your brother, loved your ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, baby daddy, baby mama. Nobody really loves them. And you could have probably tried to tell this person that, but in, in, instead they decided to team up with your ops. They did, They decided to team up with your narcissistic family, their narcissistic family. They decided to team up with your friend, your brother, your sister, your cousin. I don't know, but this ain't got nothing to do with you. But what does have something to do with you is you're going to get a phone call about a death. I'm hearing I'm hearing the morgue is going to contact you in three to four months. 
not three or four years, maybe two or three weeks, somebody could already be dead on this, in this energy. Somebody running from the police, somebody running from the cops, somebody is on the run. Somebody could, could be an informant as well. Like your ex-friend could have separated from you and became an informant. It's like what spirit is telling me, this is why he won't let me go. It's like when you separated from this person or these people, they all folded on you. They all turned on you. And it's like all these people tried to get you thrown in jail. They tried to get you put in prison for stealing your identity, for stealing your shit. They thought they was going to steal you shit, steal your shit and get you locked up. They thought they was going to steal your shit and sacrifice you. They thought they were going to get rid of you. <laughs> that is funny. They thought this shit was going to work, but the hole that they dug for you is happening to them. So just keep standing in your power and wait on this phone call because... Somebody finna die from a drug overdose, from an incurable STD. Somebody may end up getting shot and killed. Somebody gonna die from cancer, congestive. These people, congestive heart failure. These people are, they're, they're sick. They, this is, it's just stand firm. I'm hearing if we don't want no problems, prob, just, the love and hip hop could be significant. I don't know how. I'm hearing you little scrappy. I'm hearing just stand firm. Just stand firm. You on your way. You finna take off. But in order for you to get a major blessing, your cup will overflow it. In order for you to get a major blessing, um, these people got to go. These people got to pass away. Expect a phone call in three to four months or three to four weeks at the least, not years. This is sad. I'm hearing that song. Though I'm missing you. Although I miss See you. I find a way to get through living without you. Cause you are my sister, my strength, and my pride. Only God may know I still my will give. I don't know why spirit got me singing this, but these people finna die. Who would have known? You finna be with your the, with the love of your life for once. Who would have known? Kobe Bryant could be significant. That you have to go. Doom, doom. So suddenly, so fast. Doom, doom, doom. Somebody finna die from a drug overdose. How could it be that a sweet memory goes beyond all the love we made? Yeah. Now that you're gone, somebody dying from a drug overdose, I'm telling you. This could be a brother or a sister. Somebody could be a functioning drug addict. Now that you're gone. Every day I go on, on, but life's just not the same. Mm. The movie set it off could be significant. These people are trying to plan, they're planning to go on the run. It's not going to work. They're going to be stopped in their tracks by the feds. They're also trying to think of a way to breadcrumb you to give your money back. They thought that they were going to put you in jail. They thought they were going to be successful with putting you in jail, putting you in a mental institution, or they thought they were going to be successful. I'm hearing something about incompetence. There's a lot of documents and paperwork that have been changed around as well. These people thought that they were going to be successful with putting you in jail, a mental institution. They stole your identity. They stole your shit. And they also thought they were going to be successful with killing you unaliving you, sacrificing you. I'm picking up on a lot of hit men's and hit women's as well. Six of swords. These people are still refusing to sell on the comma waters, not because they're attacking you, but because they need your help. They need your energy, but they've burnt their bridges and they've also burnt their bridges that you can never bring your bridge with God, but the, the God, God is disappointed. He's upset, but they burnt their bridge with the devil. The de I mean, you know, the devil is tricky, but the devil finna collect these hoes and niggas. And these people are blocked, two of swords here. They cannot come down your dwelling. Okay, this is this is over. This king of swords just keeps coming out. Somebody could be a male Libra. 
Okay, that King of Swords came out again, Four of Swords. Like, what Spirit is telling me, I don't care if this is an ex, a friend, a family member, other people, family members, a third party, because the Three of Cups came out. Whatever this is, these people are under heavy judgment. And I'm seeing the Grim Reaper. The, the Death card came out twice. You understand what I'm saying? The death, this is over. And you're just somewhere, la, 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 full card in the sun. And these people are just like watching you from a distance, dealing with chaos and drama. Five of Wands and the Two of Wands, they're in the fives. Like, I don't know what to tell you, but to expect a phone call. I'm here, you're going to share some, why am I about to cry? I'm not emotional. I'm not sad. I'm getting teary-eyed. I'm feeling this energy. Remember in the movie Set It Off, Jada Pinky was the only one that survived because they killed her brother. They accidentally killed her brother. Because remember, he had a he had AP on the back of his head. Because they thought he was from Acorn. They thought he was the dude that robbed the bank. But he didn't. Frankie gonna rob the bank. He didn't do that shit, though. And he was on his way to college. I feel like he felt his death, even though he didn't feel his death. Remember, he told Jada Pinkett, I don't want to go to college. Maybe that's not something that I want to do because he was going to die. He didn't probably know, but he knew it was he knew that was it for him. But the feds let her go and they killed Stoney. I mean, they, they didn't know. They let Stoney live. They killed Cleo. They killed Frankie. I forgot Kimberly Lee's name in the movie. T.D. Jakes could be significant. The movie Woman, Thou Art Loose could be significant. He under heavy judgment, too, for playing with God and standing in the pulpit playing with God. I ain't got nothing to say to him. Uh, three is, uh, Say about him, excuse me. Three of staffs. You got a very bright future, okay? I'm here. you're going to shed some happy tears and some sad tears because these people finna die. They finna die, period. I'm hearing somebody phone ring. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, yes, who is this? You're going to be sitting on the couch watching TV. You're going to be driving. Who is this? Uh, this is the medical examiner's office. Um, I'm here to tell you we had to shoot and kill your family member. We had to shoot and kill your friend. We had to shoot and kill your ex. They tried to barricade themselves in a the home. They tried to go on the run. I feel like the feds really don't want to kill these people, but if they have to, they will. I'm hearing something about the U.S. Marshals. These people are not passing away. They're not dying anytime soon. That's what the Most High God wants me to let you know. Why am I getting teary at? Remember, I told you guys that I got to put the cards there. At home. Remember, I told you guys that it's going to be some stuff you're going to see that's going to make it hard to smell. Remember, I told you that? Well, it's coming. And you probably saying, KMP, why am I getting teary-eyed? But I'm seeing this in my third eye. You probably saying, KMP, what, did you, what do you mean? You the type of person that will give somebody the clothes off your back. Divine masculine, divine feminine. I'm in tears because I'm happy, but this is some sad shit. You the type of person, divine masculine, divine feminine. If you got it, everybody got it. You let these people stay with you. You fed these people when they was hungry. You love these people unconditionally because they was your family. They was your boyfriend. They was your girlfriend. They were your husband. They was your wife. They was your baby daddy. They was your baby mama. They was your best friend. You helped these people when they was in the in, in their time of need. And they try to team up against you to steal your inheritance. They team up against you to try to kill you, kill you for your money, for your shit. They 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 changed your identity. They stole your identity. I'm hearing something about a birth certificate, a fake birth certificate, a fake death certificate. All of this, why did they do this to you? And again, I keep hearing, I wish y'all can see what I'm seeing. I'm almost in tears. Chosen one. Imagine just walking the street in your light freely. Just imagine. Imagine that 
If I rule the world, I free all my sons. I love them, love them, baby. Black diamonds and pearls. That's you. You free now. You're you're free to walk freely. You're protected by the feds, the universe, the most high guy. You're free to walk free now in your light. Nobody condemn this light. Not anymore. But when you walk free to your destiny to fulfill your mission mission, because just because you get to the destiny does not mean you're not gonna fulfill the mission. You have to, I mean, that you're not gonna fulfill a mission. You when you get to the destination, you gotta fulfill your mission. But, uh, but while you're fulfilling your mission, when you get to your destiny, your family members are going to be on the street, homeless, politicians, judges, lawyers, preachers. These people are under judgment. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. And I'm not sad at all, but I'm literally in tears because this is what spirit is showing me in my third eye. And when you, when you walk down the street, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to be emotional. This is what I'm seeing. But when you walk down the street, these people are going to be pulling on your clothes. Because, see, you're going to be, all, all your life, they tried to dim your light, right? These same family members that burnt bridges with you, these same friends, these same ex-lovers, these same co-workers, they all fucked you over for your shit. When you, these, this is so sad. Everybody going to be pulling on the, on the chosen one's clothes, on your garments. If they could just touch the hem of your garment, just the hem of your garment. More please, chosen one. Feed me, chosen one. Help me, chosen one. If you could just give me a drink, chosen one. More please, chosen one. Remember when everybody was pointing at you and laughing at you and making fun of you and kicking you when you was down? When you was running the human race, everybody kicked you when you was down, right? Well, now it's your turn. Are you going to kick them while they're down? Are you are you going to help them? When this time comes, just do what the Most High God tell you to do. Okay? Because it's going to be some stuff you're going to see that's going to make it hard to smell, man. I'm serious. Not just saying that because I'm a Tupac fan. What are you going to do when you get a phone call that these people are dead and their body is laying cold in a morgue? The medical examiner, examiner's office contact you. Somebody got cancer. I'm hearing this song by uh, Boys to Men, a song from Mama. Mama, you know that song. The movie Soul Food could be significant. What are you going to do when you get these phone calls that these people have died or these people have been arrested? I'm hearing these people are about to suffer. These people are about to suffer so bad. And it's nothing that you can do to save them because they didn't save you. And if you go back, you're going to get these the backlash. These people are about to suffer. Suffer. I mean, suffer on the streets. I remember about two or three years ago, I had got a download. I actually posted this video on my channel. It was a channel message. And in the dream state, the Most High God showed me times had got so bad that people were standing, ma making fires out of trash cans, out of metal trash cans on the side of the road just to keep warm. These were politicians, medical physicians, judges, family members, friends, just, just on the streets, nowhere to go. I'm hearing the U.S. government is about to take paper money away. We finna go back to coins. See, everything that you went through, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, why am I almost in tears? Because this is what Spirit is showing me. Everything that you went through was for a reason. And now it's your turn. More please, chosen one. If I could just touch the hem of your garment, help me, chosen one. These are the same people that betrayed you and fucked you over. I'm finna go. Because if I don't get off of this camera, I'm gonna start crying. Because what I'm seeing in my third eye, 
I'm finna go to the next read. Expect the worst for these people, but expect the best for you. Expect to shed some happy tears and some sad tears. Let me go. Peace.